welcome back to the hair I wear for wigs by pattiespearls.com. I'm Lauren and I am continuing on with my reviews of the new Raquel Welch line. This one that I have for you is called Watch Me Now. Now she is brand new and um, there's a lot to say about this wig. There's a couple of things that stood out to me that are very interesting. Um, so let me just dive right into the cap construction. Now this piece has a hand tied lace front so we're all familiar with those. But um, you will notice the wefting right here at the front of the wig. And then it has a monofilament top at the crown, like right back here, which is super interesting. That's a really unusual placement for a monofilament um, uh, placement, but it's right there at the crown. Now to disguise this wefting, um, which is typical if there's wefting on the top, is there is a lot of permatease in this wig. Now permatease is um, used to give you volume and lift in a wig. It's kind of like a built-in back combing, you know? Um, if you want to get volume, you pick up a piece of hair and you take your comb and you ch -ch -ch and you comb down and then you just let that piece fall and it just creates body and lift in your piece. So permatease is kind of a way um, that you can build that into a wig and get that volume. And you usually can tell um, that a wig has permatease if the piece pieces look kind of, um, I'm trying to get my camera to cooperate, kind of short and um, kinky, like right here. You'll notice that that's permatease. And of course, when you put the wig on, you'll notice that it has a lot more volume than normal. So this wig does have permatease um, at the top. It has a shorter fringe bang at the front. So this is a five and a half inch length at the front. From the crown down, it's 13 inches. The sides are eight and a half. And then from the nape down, it is 13 inches. Okay, so, oh, let's talk about the color. This color is called Chocolate Copper. It is a medium brown and it has some auburn highlights in it. So it's a beautiful color for fall with an overall kind of dark brown look, but it has that dimension in it um, to give you some highlights. Okay, well, there she is. Oh, wait, wait. God, let's talk about ear tabs. So there is a velvet line ear tab um, that is adjustable. There is a velvet strip at the nape, so it is nice and comfortable. And then it has Velcro um, tabs that are adjustable to give you a snug fit. And she is an average cap size. So we will compare her um, to the other uh, wigs I have worn to see if she fits true to size. Okay, I am gonna go put on Watch Me Now. Um, this is gonna be interesting with the permatease and the shorter bangs. I'm not sure how this is gonna look, but we're gonna give her a try. Okay, be sure to be screenshot ready because here are all the details on Watch Me Now by Raquel Welch. Okay, here she is. Now, she is definitely a specific look. Um, ladies who want to wear this piece like to have a lot of volume and layers, and so she is just a very specific style, and ladies who wear this style, they know what they're looking for. So, if you like a lot of height and volume in your pieces, she is for you. I mean, this permatease on top, there ain't no fighting it. You just got to go with it. <laughs> so she has, like I said, a lot of permatees here um, at the root. So you can definitely get some volume up there. Um, you can move her around every which way because that permatease is hiding the wefting up there. So you can move it around um, wherever you want. It doesn't have a mono top, remember? So you're not going to get a defined part line but because it does have that volume there um, it's hiding the wefting so you can still move her around up top and get some great movement now the bangs they are on the shorter side um, I can't get an ear tuck with them but I will say they're swooping well so if I can't get an ear tuck with um, some front fringe or bangs I at least like for them to lay um, to where they're not you know, constantly falling into my eyes. And I will say that this lays really well. So the fringe, they did a great job on on it. Um, I, you know, I have mine sweeping to the side, but you could totally um, part them in the middle and get like the layered look on each side. You could move them over. And because this has a lace front, I'll show you a close up of the lace here. Whoops, hold on. Let me get it back. 
Um, they did a really great job. I say the knotting is really well done. It's not super heavy. So you could um, even wear this, you know, if you want to kind of train it to go back, you could wear that fringe away from your face um, and wear it like that. But I prefer mine to go down a little bit. There we go. Now it's not heavily layered, but it does have this shorter layer right here. And then the very bottom layer um, is kind of sparse. I don't know. I feel like if they just took out this um, bottom layer, it would make it look um, more even because there is so much volume up top. And then when you get to the bottom here, it's not as dense. So I feel like it could be a little denser at the bottom to kind of even out the look. But I will say the fiber feels really good. It's not super, super silky, which I like because it gives it um, some texture to play around with the movement and it doesn't give it that, you know, super wiggy look. Um, it's not overly shiny. You wouldn't need to deshine this out of the box. And the color is so rich and so beautiful. Again, this is the chocolate copper. So it's a medium brown and then it has some warmer kind of auburn highlights running through it. Okay, let's talk about, let's see, we talked about the ear tuck. You can definitely get um, an ear tuck with the hair, just not the fringe right here, but you can leave the fringe out. Um, the cap is fitting well. The ear tabs are in a good spot. It's not bunching at the neck, so I say it is a great fit for an average cap size. Um, let's see, I can do a ponytail. There's definitely enough. Um, hair that you could do a low pony and then leave that fringe out like that. All right, let me give y'all a 360 spin here. And let's see, I'm going to back up just a little bit so y'all can see the whole thing. Okay, so here is the front and then the side and then the back. Again, I always run into my background. <laughs> there she is on the side. All right, and let me see if I can give you a close-up of the crown so you can see that you can't see the wefting. And it does have that mono base right here at the crown. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, well there she is, the all-new Watch Me synthetic wig from the Raquel Welch line in color chocolate copper. If you need her in your life, head on over to wigsbypattiespearls.com. I will see y'all next time. Bye.